Hello, welcome to this two branch Jeet 4 tutorial. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at video optimization. Once you've opened up two branch Jeet, from the home page, you can quickly type in your keyword and select the number of videos to fetch. And you can also quickly see how many searches you've done today, weekly, or monthly. You can also discover more videos here from the Discover tab. What we're going to be looking at today is optimizing. So to open the Optimize panel, you can click the Optimize tab here, and this opens the Optimize video panel here, or you can just quickly click on the black bar. From whatever page you're on within TubeRank Jeep, just clicking on this black bar will open the Optimize video panel. So from the Discover panel, we can see the previous searches that we've already made, and we can quickly recall one of our searches just by double clicking it and then collecting the videos fresh again. To get started, let's set our main keyword here and we'll add our title. And we'll just copy our title into the description here. Another handy feature uh, in TubeRank Jeet 4 is the paste box pop-up. By clicking this black banner here at the bottom, we can uh, just paste notes to ourselves. And this will just be held for our future uh, reference. So we can just leave little notes, and then later when we need it, we can come back and we can copy parts of that and just hide it when we're done with it. And let's enter in our tags. Comma separated. Okay, so now we're started with our, our basic. Let's go ahead and analyze this so far, what we've done, and see that already, this seems like it's pretty thorough already, but we're only 50% optimized. So now that we've done just the basic work, now we can use TubeRank G to help us optimize to get it as close to 100% as possible. So we'll go ahead and checklist. We know that this video is gonna have a custom thumbnail and it's going to be in one or more playlists. So let's go ahead and copy our main keyword into TubeRank Jeep, and we'll search. We'll close our optimized video panel for the time being, just so we have a little bit more room to work here. So we can see using this search, the average statistics, likes, dislikes, comments, views, the ratio between likes and dislikes, and the ratio between views and likes, and the overall sentiment uh, based on uh, views versus likes. So let's take a look at the first result on this page. From here, we can start with their title. And if we right click on the title, we can go ahead and copy that to our clipboard. And then we can open up our paste box and just add that to our paste box. And we can see here, when we compare that to our original uh, keyword, that there are a few additions here that we didn't include in our own. So uh, these are gonna be useful topics for us to mention in our own title. So let's go ahead and just modify that. Copy these pieces here. Let's open up our optimize and let's add that to our title. There. Oh, so we're a little bit over our character count on the title now. So uh, we can remove some of these unnecessary words. And let's just get a better look at this title here in the paste box. Okay, we've repeated the word recipe, so we can take that out. So let's go ahead and copy that into our title now. Okay, great. So that fills up our title box pretty nicely. Let's just see how that analyzes. And we've improved our optimization score by 7% already, so that didn't take too much work. 
Okay, let's take a look now at their description. I'll close the uh, paste box for now. The description here is actually fully editable. So if we want to make any modifications here, we could uh, just paste that directly into here so that it's easier for us to copy and paste. Uh, it just gives us one more work area. Okay, so uh, we can basically take this recipe and we'll modify this a little bit. Okay, so we don't want to be plagiarizing anything and uh, we can see that this is fairly lengthy. So rather than do this all here in the tutorial, you get the idea that basically what we can do is modify this description to our preference and then we can add that to our own. And we can analyze now and see how our optimization score has improved. And you can see it's improved considerably. Okay, let's go back, close our optimize panel for now. And let's look at the keywords that they've used. And we can see that there's quite a few keywords here that we did not use. Um, if we see something here that we want to, we can just right click on that, okay, and we can either copy it to the clipboard, we can search further for this keyword, or we can add it to a group. Let's go ahead and copy that to the clipboard, and we'll paste that into our, our own tags. And we'll just do that with a couple of others here. And you can see we've got a lot of room here to fill more tags. So we've added a few more tags here. Let's go ahead and analyze our optimization. We can see we gained a few more percentages there, but we have a lot more tags to add, you can see. So let's close that panel and let's move on to the next video. So same deal, we can just click here, view keywords, and we can see what their tags are. So again, same thing, we'll copy that to the clipboard, open up our panel, add that. Okay, so we've added a few more tags. We've got our tags up to 500 characters. Let's go ahead and analyze this, and you can see our optimization score has increased to 70% now. So now that we've filled up our, our character counts, let's scroll down and to see what recommendations Jeet has for us to improve our optimization score further. Okay, for the description, we want to add a link to our social pages and website in the description. So let's go ahead and add that. And we'll see how that improves. Okay, we're up to 75% now and we cleared a recommendation. Okay, hashtags. Oh, we've neglected our hashtags. Okay, so let's close this panel here. And so these videos here have not made use of any hashtags yet. Let's, let's go down to the next video and see if they've used any hashtags. No hashtags found. Next video. No hashtags found. And next video, no hashtags found. Okay, so we're going to use hashtags, and that's probably a good indicator that we're going to be able to improve on our competitors. So to use hashtags, let's take our five main terms here. We'll just copy those, paste, and let's turn these into hashtags. So to do that, we add a hashtag and remove the spaces. Okay. And these don't need to be on separate lines, so let's just fix that. There we go. All right, now let's check our optimization score and see we've jumped up to 80% now. Getting pretty good. Okay, uh, so now recommendations, ask the viewer to subscribe to our channel in the description. Oh, good point. Some of these things are really easy to overlook. Please subscribe. Let's see, and wow, that was a big jump. Add our keyword to the tags. Okay, so let's go up and find our keyword. Copy that. Add that 
We'll just make room in our character count here and add that to our tags. Okay, and analyze that. Oh, we already hit 100%. Make sure the first tag is our main keyword. That's good advice, so let's remove that from here and jump up to the top. Add that at the top and just analyze and please add a good thumbnail. Well, we've got a great thumbnail already. So, so we're at 100%. We are ready to upload. So now what we can do is we can select our channels that we want to upload to and then we can go ahead and upload our video. So from here, we just select the file that we want to upload and it will automatically push to our YouTube and Dailymotion and Vimeo if we select that as well. And with 100% optimization, it won't be long before this video reaches the number one results in the search. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks very much for watching.